video is a show vlog. If you're thinking 5 a.m. and we are in trouble, then you will know that I'm always in trouble at the last minute. So basically, I'm just gonna put my shoes on properly. So basically, today is a show day. It's later in the day. This show is later in the day, you guys. We show at 2.30 today. So I didn't do any show prep, or we saved it all for today. If you're thinking that was a dumb idea, it was a dumb idea! <laughs> because now the panic is setting in and I am rushing and my adrenaline is going and because of that, I don't even know where to start. My plan was to braid Finn's mane. So we're still at the time where like you can braid or you don't have to braid because of COVID. And I was like, we are gonna braid. I need to, I need to keep up on my braiding skills, but now, now it's late and I'm like, ugh, I can't braid. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to figure out where our shampoo and everything is. Usually I keep it on this shelf all of our shampoo and all of our stuff, but I put it in a grooming bag the other day. Now nobody can find it. Now nobody can find it. I also have to remember Sophie's gloves. So uh, good morning, uh, pray for us that we get to the show. There's so many awful things happening about this show. I'll explain on our way to the barn, but we're gonna do it anyways, you guys, because being scared now, being brave means being scared or being nervous and doing it anyway. Being brave means just going out there and doing it even though you don't have all the answers and you don't have all the stuff you need. Go out there and be brave today, you guys. Go out there and just be brave. Talk to that boy that you really like but you're afraid to talk to. Talk to your boss and show him what a good job you're doing today. Tell your parents that you love them even though they drive you crazy. Make your husband an extra special supper just because he's there all the time, even when he drives you crazy. That's what being brave is, you guys. Going out there, going out on a limb to do good things and be your best person, even when it's hard. Now back to panicking, because I can't remember all the things we need. Globbles, we probably don't need at a horse show. Got the gloves. All right, let's go Besides, find- you know what these are. I know, I learned from the best. I learned from the best. The backpack full of junk, yeah. Are, are we going to Timmy's? We are definitely going to Timmy's. All this right. girl needs some so coffee. I can actually show. What do you mean? You can't show without eating. Right. I'm it, not even hungry. I'm tired. I know. Show I'm days. Coughing. Show days are exhausting. Shout out to my very first garden tomato that I'm going to have for supper tonight. I got some snacks. I didn't even get food for this show. It's a it's a show and go, and it is. But they have food there. Yeah, they have. Do I have money? Did you put money in my wallet last night, Sophie? Yeah. Okay, so we got the money. We got the. Got the money. Globbles. Got the globbles. Got the snacks. What they have food there. I'll be eating a burger there. Holy heck! Cause I didn't even have time to eat yet. Um, That's how crazy it is. Globbles. Oh, and you eat with the same hand. Then um, your food tastes like poison. Yeah. Globbles taste like poison. Don't eat globbles. That'd be a lesson to everyone. All right, let's do it, you guys. One, two, three. Horse show. Just joking. First, we gotta do horse prep. <laughs> So we drove by and we saw where Finn was in the field. Oh, give me that halter. Let me hide it. Hide the halter. Let's see hide it. Call Chino over. No, no, no. Shh. Let's do a sneak attack. No noise. We do not sneak. We, we do, do not sneak attack. No, we don't. Look, if Chino comes, Finn will probably. Mom, what we say? Chino. Oh my God. You want to go to a horse show? I love the way they listen. Love. Uh oh. You want to wait for Yeah. See, nobody listens to me. Don't listen to Laura. She knows nothing. Aww. Aww. I love you, big handsome man. Look at him. <laughs> oh, he's running. I love you. I love you, Gabby. <laughs> Look at his head. I wish I had treats. Oh, and there we go. All right, I was wrong. Sometimes I'm wrong, you guys. I get it. You're coming, handsome. 
Let me rest a little, a little more. He's much better. He's fine. It was just a fluky slid in the mud, pulled a muscle, whatever it was, but he's fine. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. You were right, Gabby. Gabby said, if I call Chino and Chino comes to me then, so will Finn. No, Finn came to me yesterday. I know. He thinks he's going. He thinks he's going. I was like, I'm coming! We have plans for you, my friend. We have a busy week, maybe, depending on how you do. You should go get him some treats, Gabby. I hate when they, he, oh, he knows now. He's like, Finn's leaving, I'm not. He gets it. It's okay. You're okay. I'll go get you treats. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. What? All right, let's go. We can't even braid today. Most people have like bags. Yeah, she's lucky you got a Palomino. Are you saying you're lucky you got a Palomino? Yeah. Oh. It's okay. He could probably jump that fence. All right, let's go get him a treat. And they are smarter than you would ever imagine because he booked it right down here. They know. Horses know, he knows that this is how he has to get out. Uh oh, don't, 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 jump, 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 he's gonna jump. Oh, no. All right, so we'll be back tomorrow to ride this handsome, gorgeous man, get him back in shape. So he's not going to the horse show. He's not going to the horse show. But we're back in business. Back in business, Stormy. Goodbye. We'll be back. That kind of reminds me of a Loki horse. Yeah, can I show them? Let's show them. So Kaylee bought this gorgeous bracelet. Is that your sign? Yeah. For Gabby from Sheen. Why did she buy it? No reason. She's just a kind girl buying her friend a gift. And I just want to say thank you again to all of you guys who've sent us stuff. Those packages yesterday were so heartfelt. Sophie has been playing with those toys like you would not believe. You could hardly even go to bed last night and put them down. We lost our bag of shampoo. I don't know what happened. Like we have a hole and it's got all of our braiding stuff in it. I don't know. I looked in the van. Well, we're in trouble. It's, it's 12 p.m. and we are in trouble. 12 a.m. No, 12 p.m. It's 11.42. Alright, so Gabby found a sponge. Wait, this is it? This is our cleaning bucket. This is the one I'm talking about. Where's our shampoo? Alright, you guys. We are officially going to have to go buy more shampoo. I guess it's just the shampoo we're missing. I don't know. I do know. Add that to the shopping list. Poor shampoo. And the weird thing is I have like five bottles. So I don't know where any of it is. I don't know what happened to it. But look at that. The arena, outdoor arena is dry. We're back in business, people. Have you ever done something? Plan something and then it turned out to be just a gong show the whole day. Yeah, gong show. But you know what? The difference between a bad gong show and a fun gong show is just keep going forward. If things are turning out bad, just keep moving. I told you that already. So you're probably wondering, what the heck is bad? Well, our coach, who gives us all our confidence, might not be able to be at the show. She had like a family, not a bad emergency, but a mini family emergency that she couldn't get out of. And I don't blame her. And we might not have her at the at the show. So I sent a message to Brandon to see if he would help us, which he probably will if he can. If he can, he will. All right, no, I don't think it's all the way out. It is. All right, so I found a little bit of shampoo. Just enough to wash his tail, which is what he's most dirty on. So you gotta wet his hair down and brush it down so it's like pretty at least. Poor Finn. Poor Finn. <laughs> he's like, why do I have to do all this? All right, so take him in and let's spray him with Shoshin and give him a brush and 
pick his feet and get him all ready. Our coach is what gives us all the confidence. Our coach is the one that like really helps us at horse shows. But one of our friends recently went to a horse show all by herself while Fiona was with us at Trillium and she went all by herself with just her family and nailed the horse show, nailed the experience, did it all, all on her own. So I know it's possible and we just gotta keep going. Uh-oh, trouble in paradise. Good thing we're an hour early. We have time to load. Oh, well, look at that. Would you look at that? Look at that handsome boy. Good boy. He's gonna poop. Good boy, oh, quick, quick, quick. Before he poops all over the place. Right, lock him up. All right, three, two, one, horse show. All right, we're here. Sophie's having a burger. Do we have elastics? Uh, to spray it out then elastic it. Do we have the elastics here? They're, it's in that little bag, I think. Can't open the trunk all the way. We got here and it's still COVID and at the big shows you don't have to braid if you don't want to and we assumed that it would be uh, the same for here. She's not here yet, we're early. Right, but then I saw everybody else the and they're puzzle. braided so I'm like, mm, I better braid. braid. Cabby baby powdered Finn's stripe and it be looking white. And now she needs to do it with his main I'm gonna do a Sophie edit. I always say this, and I don't know how much people believe me, but one of the best ways to bond with your horse ever is to scratch them. When a, when a fly is on them, to swat it away and scratch them. Every time you do it, they stare in your face. Like, they're like, whoa, what magical power does this girl have? Like, I just did it to Finn, and he stared in my eyes for like 10 minutes. All right, we're moving up a bit, moving up. So more trailers can come in. There's Champion. You're looking good. So Fiona's not coming, she's not going to be able to make it. And we forgot to bring the Pelham, so... I have the Pelham. You have the Pelham? Yeah. Can we run? Freaking oh. genius! Cappy's our coach for today. Like, that's amazing. Alright, put that sucker on. Right, lucky number 161! Just get back and she's up and at it. I'll get her number on her. So she's going to move around and walk him around and get him behaving. Got your number, sister. Yeah, push your butt over. Just wait. Here, what if I Why don't you go walk on the grass over there? Alright, you got it. Brave girl. Yeah, yes please. Okay, so I do this thing at the show where I let Sophie or I let my kids go off with the coach because stress case and I don't want to put that on them. So I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the outhouse, you guys. And I'm just waiting for Coach Gabby and Sophie to head in there and, and just leave them. Gabby, Sophie, loves Gabby coaching her. She respects her and treats her just like a coach. Brandon is going to help us if we need it. Um, he's running the show though, so it's tricky. But anyway, Fiona's not going to make it. I didn't bring the proper bit because you don't change the bit the day before a show and then expect him to be perfect in it. So Gabby brought the bit and the double reins to help if he needs that. And it, they decided that they're going to try it without and see how he does first, like just warming up. And then if he's all crazy and worked up, then they'll switch it. But miracle of miracles, Sophie and Finn, calm. Calm as anything. They just, oh, so calm, both of them. Finn, Finn's just standing there like this. Like, I don't even know what happened. So let's out. So uh, let's go out there and see a horse show. You think you need to switch it? Because he's got no brakes. Think you need to switch it? Think you need to switch the bit? You will. When you have halt, make sure you're always checking your rising. Always slow it down. You always slow and then start to get fast. It's like checking your rising diagonal, but do it more often. Am I rising too fast? Yes, slow. Slow, sister, slow. And you're holding your reins. And All right. You have halt. Hands up. Lean back. Tighten your knees and thighs. Oh, look at that Finny boy. He's like, I smell food. He smells it. See? Okay. Uh, you need to fix your collar. Yeah, I know. 
pulling a Gabby on us. All right, so. I'm heading where my backpack is. Uh oh. That's okay. Sophie, you just be calm and he'll be calm. You gotta get out there and warm her up because it's almost time. I know, Brandon's coming to help us. Oh, Brandon's coming to help? All right, Brandon will tell us if we need to switch the bit. Sit up and let go. And half halt and then let go. Big half halt. Yeah. Pet him. The yeah, there are lots of horses in here, you guys. Such cute ponies. Brandon's coming. Happy to have Gabby, though. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade if you're ready for Slow your rising and let him go when you do it because you're holding his face. He won't like that. So it's a little bit of contact. She knows. She said that this is what she does at the show. She gets nervous slow and she says. Slow rising. She knows that she. Always think slow rising. Always slow. Time count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on fire I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind right now I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard that's your problem I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> she says she thinks she needs the Pelham. And then Brandon walked over and then we'll see. Brandon took over and he's going to warm up over fences. She might not even canter the course. I don't know what he's doing. I'm letting him because I'm not the coach. She did it. She she did it. There's a lot of kids in her division. There's bet you 20 kids in her division and that doesn't matter. She, she has a choice to ride one of the horses here in the show, to ride her horse. Lots of choices made by Sophie to ride her own horse. Finny boy, you were good, sort of. You were the best you could be, right? We all do the best we can. And then when you know better, do better. But for now, you did good. Mr. Curls. We are headed home. I need a drink. What do we have? Water. A whole lot of water. We stayed behind it to help one of Fiona's other students that she wasn't able to come and Brandon helped her too. She did really well. This is such a good little schooling show. We really like this farm. We really like this farm. The only reason we didn't stay here is because it's quite far from our house. And so, uh, and Kaylee was going to the other barn and we live closer to Kaylee. So we just ended up going there closer to Fiona, closer, just, just for closerness. Close, it was just closer. Um, otherwise, we would have stayed here because we really liked it. We loved, we love it here. It's just a happy family farm. That's what it is. So anyway, we're headed home. Drop off Finny. I have to say that it was brave of Sophie to bring a Finn all by himself with no other people, and this is what Finn needs. All along, Sophie's been nervous to take Finn places, and so that's held him back a little. So now that she's getting braver, maybe we'll do a trail ride soon with Storm and Finn, and we are. I'm not. Oh, you are. And he'll get better. He'll just get better and better and better. Hopefully. Sophie, let him go. He just took off running. Maybe we want to find the other boys? Yeah, let's go find them. You guys will be happy. You know, I got sneakers on again. 
Not a horse in sight. Where did he go? I think he went straight down there. He's gone to eat grass. I brought more treats for the other boys. Don't you know that you're beautiful?